Hi Taurus, this is your reading as you were the second one uh, this last week um, with 65 likes. Thank you very much for all your likes and sharing. This makes me feel appreciated and know that you do watch the video. Thank you and I hope a lot of you will join in in the live sessions too. So if you're not a member yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell on all and then you should be getting notified. I go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday to answer questions that are supported with Super Chat or Super Stickers and a giveaway free cards. So please join in. And of course I hope you will join in the competition as well. In two weeks time I will be discussing um, the vision board and answering your questions and see whether I can help you if there are any issues with your vision board. Even if you're not um, entering the competition, make a vision board. It will empty your head. It will bring less stress as you will not start um, annoying or letting it gnaw at you or mulling around the thoughts or wishes or goals that you wish to make. Also, we're going into Cancer, as this is the reading for the 15th to the 21st of June, and we're leaving June energy behind. So things should be slowing down in the Moon of Cancer. Right, or the Sun of Cancer, sorry. Now, I'm doing the nine uh, card spread again because it was quite a success by the looks of it. And this is the spread that I do use when I do an extended reading. So if you would like an extended reading, have a look at the information below the, uh, this video or click on that white circle in the top right hand corner. This is the querent or the overall energy. You can take it as you like. And this is Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday all the cards I uh, look at all the other cards in the corner and that the cards that are surrounding them okay okay and in the extended reading I do go deeper into the reading because there's more ways uh, to read the cards as well and you've got a crystal card and a, an angel feather card for this week so let's start off in the querent card or the overall energy and that is the six of pentacles the six of pentacles now to me the six of pentacles is the give and take and if you are more fortunate then you might be giving a, a gift to somebody or of money or an other gift or helping hand and listening ear or if you're not um, so well uh, so fortunate then you might be receiving a gift from somebody or a helping hand or a listening ear this week it could be somebody from the past because a ghost is from a past okay somebody that's passed over that could be coming back and leaving you messages that is a gift in itself or it could be somebody coming back from the past your childhood which is really the six of cups but this card funny enough uh, for me represents both meanings wow but you're coming back into balance if you've been out of balance right Taurus on Monday you've got the two of pentacles and Virgo has the two of pentacles as well and I did really shake the card but you've got two the same cards as pentacles uh, or rather Virgo yeah, pentacles. You are pentacles as well. <laughs> Sorry. Perhaps you are trying to balance your heart and mind or your heart and soul or your finances or your work and your home front. Perhaps on Monday you will find the balance because you've got help from somebody else or a financial gift. Wow. Okay. On Wednesday you have the tower and we've got 16 and 16 becomes a 7 so good luck is on your side something unexpected might happen 
as something was not built on proper foundations. That is what the tower means in tarot. In Lenaman it's different. Okay. So something unexpected might happen. Don't fight against it. Just accept it because the universe has stepped in because you might not have been able to make a decision. And the angels and the divine thought you needed a change. Perhaps a change from the past. So you can't alter the past, you can only alter the present and the future. So take the um, unexpected change as an adventure. When one door closes, twenty will open. Perhaps friends have fallen away, upside down. Boom! Something exploding. Perhaps you had an exploding row with somebody. <laughs> and that broke the friendship. Never mind, there's more friends coming your way. This could be an unexpected promotion. Like somebody is giving you something. So it could be a promotion, an unexpected thing. Perhaps you've got the job that you applied for and you thought you weren't going to get it. And you will be getting news because look at this, you've got the page of cups. So it could be unexpected good news. There's not always bad in an unexpected moment, okay? Just go with the flow and that is what I'm hearing, go with the flow. There's new things in the future for you and you've got the king of pentacles the king of pentacles um oh sorry the knight of pentacles so that could be news about a job something that's durable and for long term it could be that you've got that mortgage or you've you you've made that investment and it's it's having a rediment it's bearing fruit okay good news slow but steady for long term as well or you might have that promotion like I said this uh, news could come from a Virgo could come from a Taurus could come from a Capricorn but you will be getting news awesome or it could come from the page of water the page of water the page of cups is um, Pisces but don't exclude Cancer or Scorpio. So you will be getting news. It could be about something, could be about love, but it could also be about something that you love to do, that you can, um, you, passion. You have a passion about something in particular, like fishing, then you might be able, and you've applied for a job in the fish shop, or in a sport shop that uh, sells angles uh, for going fishing. I don't know why I'm getting fishing, <laughs> um, but <laughs> you've got the job. If that's what you, your passion is, or football, then you'll get a job. You've got victory. Look at well, coming back to that one in a minute. You've got the seven of ones. You feel as if you have to defend yourself and stand your ground. You can and you will when necessary. You're stronger than you think. Wow. So perhaps you might have to defend yourself, that you can balance yourself. Well, definitely uh, you can because you're going from a six to a seven. So you're already going up and six means balance. Okay. And two means balance. But the picture says you're trying, but you are in balance. Two cards that mean, uh, represent balance. Well done. And this could be the news that they have seen you um, balancing your acts and working really hard and diligently. You have victory. The swords means victory. The ace of swords okay means victory first of all the swords stand for wisdom perhaps you've applied for a study and you've got the news yes you are let in you can come and study at our institution be it a college be it a university whatever or an internship okay so the knowledge wisdom that means learning Okay, this could also be the judicial uh, system 
or an institution that you might be going to work at. Legalities, a school, a hospital, a dentist, they're all institutions or municipalities like uh, Social Security or uh, any um, the tax office or uh, anybody that belongs to the governmental system. This could be the army, this could be the navy. Okay, that is also an institution from municipalities. Okay, perhaps you might get a job selling or presenting, being a presenter or being a receptionist, a call center. Wow, that's communication. So you could be meeting a Gemini, a Libra, or an aquarium. Now, this is going to money victory. You have money going to come in for long term. You're going to get the news. This could be from the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, it will be bringing in steady and slow money for long term. So don't worry about that unexpected change. It's a good change by the looks of it. Somebody, you might be between jobs, so somebody might give you a gift to overbridge this gap. Because the sword also means cutting, so you might lose your job, but you're going on to something much better because you have victory. And money is coming in. Look at the money card, the knight towards the sword. You've got the five of wands, and the knight has his back to the wands. So he's not scared of the competition. He's turned his back to the competition. <coughs> the competition could be, uh, if you've got your own business, that could be the competition of other uh, firms that do the same thing as you. You're not scared of the competition. You know how to defend yourself, especially legally. Okay? You're not scared. It keeps you on your toes. And the five of wands, some people say, are disagreements, but I disagree with that. It can be, but you've turned your back on disagreements. You're moving forwards. Especially because you're Taurus, and this could be you. Okay? You're moving to victory. Okay? And you're not scared of... Um, competition you can stand your ground and stand your man wow amazing you can um, you don't mind a, a change and competition and somebody is helping you with this change they can see who you are you can defend yourself you are somebody to be reckoned with because you love competition you like the um, the thoughts process you like learning steady but slowly and that is where you're moving to okay now we've got the page of pentacles and um, again the page you've got the knight of pentacles the page of pentacles again an indication that you're moving upwards okay Taurus you're moving forward you're moving upwards you're not scared of the competition this is just a transformational period that is what is happening this is news the cards are showing you news you're moving forward big time okay you could be getting news from somebody like I said you might be getting news uh, of somebody that's younger than you you've got two pages here um, and that could be a teenager or a young 20 in the young 20s 25 or it could be somebody that's a couple of years younger than you okay your angel feather card is purple angel feather card channel divine grace the angels acknowledge that you have an intense psychic ability and call upon your spiritual service and visionary leadership within the world so you've got Pisces here the page of cups and they are the most sensitive out of the water signs they're usually very psychic but all water signs are very sensitive and intuitive 
but Pisces might be just a little bit more because Pisces is also represented by the moon okay and that is always a very sensitive sign okay so you might be called upon to channel divine grace you might have to pass it on to somebody else or because you're so ca caring nurturing and sensitive you b might be specially be needed for this job or I uh, situation that's going to be offered or to you um, you might just have the right quality stories because you are a sensitive person sometimes I find that you're too sensitive and that you creep away in your shell because um, you don't want to get angry because once you make a tourist angry who get out of the way uh, just think of it a bull in a china shop if everything breaks okay you're too sensitive and so you protect yourself by creeping into your little shell so come out of your shell you can defend yourself and just you're not scared of anything but you just have to be more have more faith in yourself and trust that you can uh, manage your anger you can and don't get just walk away from other people's drama it doesn't matter don't get involved you've got the aura light and the aura light is number eight this is your powerhouse and your money house now I didn't sort the cards out but again a lot of pink love now you've got the beautiful white light Metatron pink Shamuel the uh, um, Archangel the heart angelic uh, chakras I'm talking about and the indigo and the lavender and the purple that is the spiritual color and the third eye and the angel angelic eye okay I know I use a lot of decks and I love using them because they do intertwine the essential meaning of the aura light and you can carry this crystal you can put it next to your uh, on your night dresser next to your bed you can carry it in your bra or your pocket next to your skin and you can enjoy the energies of healing from this stone them is mindfulness meditation on the present so you are meditating on the present okay you want to move forward boom move forward okay you're positive you are going with the flow good for you to be mindful is to be aware of the now rather than distracted by the past okay that's that card here by the past you're not distracted by the past or future and any thoughts of oughts shoulds or might have your quest for healing requires discovering what you are truly thinking and feeling when you are distracting yourself and when I said to you in the beginning don't be too much in your head stop something gnawing at you okay I said that in the beginning of the video once I say something I usually forget it but I, I just remembered that okay okay your quest for healing requires discovering what you are truly thinking and feeling when you are not distracting yourself or a light spirit calls you to be mindful of your needs right now for this may be the time to let tears flow uh, or laughter arise to recognize some things so subtle that you have previously missed or to understand that you are so much more than what you can accomplish or produce be the here in this moment fully pre present and accepting of what is make the time to meditate or contemplate today and evaluate and simply observe what you know and feel without starting to talk yourself out of it and into something else 
no matter how hard this moment may seem. Simply by observing it, you will change it. That is like the vision board. You can change it. You can visualize, manifest, meditate, contemplate on it. Now, for if it's with regard to relationships and not work, let's go and have a look what it says for relationships. Are you mindful of what is going on right now in your relationship? It qualifies, it qualifies qualities and patterns. Or a light spirit wants you to observe what is working so you can build upon it and to see what is not working so you can begin to address it. Be fully present in your relationships today. Meditate, contemplate and then as you interact with those you love Pay attention, observing without judgment, noticing what is happening without spinning a story of shoulds and oughts to have. Open your eyes that you might deepen your love and connection, for now your ability is to be present and free of distraction is very strong. Okay. So get out of your head and take action. Wow. It's given to you. Embrace the prosperity message. And this is the prosperity message. The money, the victory and the news. And the sudden change. Ooh, might be a new job or a promotion like I said. Embrace your ability to be present in the now instead of lost in the past. Be here now. Okay. Thinking about the should haves and wandering aimlessly in the f in the future worried about the what ifs or a light spirit is here to amplify your consciousness at this moment and your experience of prosperity. You have much to build upon so let go of your fear and just see and know what is your right yours right now what opportunities are at your door what you what have you gathered wisdom knowledge there you go you will be and wealth that can remind you of your ability to bring about prosperity you seek Meditation and contemplation will help you see the answers. You've got your life experience. You can stand your ground. And there you go. So just concentrate on what is happening around you, not just what is in front of you. You have what it takes. Don't think of the past. Okay? You can see things from the past messages but focus forwardly set that mind on focusing on the future you've got what it takes okay you're strong you're strong you can stand your ground wow you're not scared of competition you can handle anything you're big strong and bold so come out of your shell like I said it's right here for you if you take it. So get into action. Make that decisions before if you don't want the universe to make decisions for you, then you make the decisions. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be good news because victory is here for you. Okay. You might, I'm hearing also, you might have invested something in the past. You've sown the seeds and now you're going to pluck the harvest. Good luck Taurus and be safe and please share and like and give us the thumbs up and I hope you join me on Monday, Wednesday or Friday whenever or all the evenings you're more than welcome and I'm putting a, a day card out on Instagram, Facebook 
and here on YouTube and in the community so you've got lot and Twitter so if you haven't got Instagram go to Facebook if you haven't got any of them and just Twitter then see it on Twitter take care God bless and be blessed and see you soon love you good luck Thank you.